Hi, my name is Jacob. I'm a junior studying mechanical engineering at Binghamton University. And today I'm going to demonstrate a small prototype ventilator that I constructed in my dorm. Uh, before I demonstrate its operation, I'm going to go over each one of the parts where I bought them from, and then I'm going to go over how it works. This right here is a lunchbox that was purchased at Walmart. Inside of it, this green, this green bag, is a camping, collapsible camping water bottle that was also purchased at Walmart. Uh, this, these vinyl tubes were repurposed from another water bottle that's designed to go on your back, and it has a tube that extends around your body and allows you to drink without ever having to reach for your bottle behind your back. This, green, uh, this blue part right here is called a servo motor, and it spins this uh, spur gear right here, which is what controls the opening and closing of the different valves. And these three parts right here, the valve housing, the spur gear, and this little pinion gear, um, were 3D printed. The way this works is this gear will spin. And when it spins, it opens and closes certain valves. This gear right here is easily removable. I can do that right now. It's not easy to do with one hand, but it slides right out. And depending on how you position those slots and how big or small you make them, you determine the frequency and duration of each breath that this delivers to the patient. And you could print a custom one for each patient or easily replace it if one breaks. And it just slides right back in like that. All right, so the way this works is you're gonna use a compressed air supply. Because most college students have air compressors in their dorms. And that's gonna attach right here. Right now I have the regulator set to 50 PSI, which is going to mimic standard compressed air in a hospital. This air will also serve as oxygen for this demonstration. So this is plugged in right here. All right, now, to further demonstrate this, I've connected the spur gear and the servo motor to a power supply. Uh, this is easily made. I've actually powered this off my off a uh, iPhone battery charger uh, through USB. It's very easy to do. I'm just using this because I can easily control how fast the gear spins. And to demonstrate that, I can turn this on. And depending on up the speed or slow it down. All right, so now to demonstrate it. Uh, one thing I will say before I demonstrate it, there are a couple of problems. This gear leaks a little bit, so we're working to correct that. But for now, let me show you how it works. We're gonna turn it on and start the air. So as you can see, it inflates and deflates the bag. This bag first inflates with oxygen, and then this chamber pressurizes to deflate the bag and deliver oxygen through this tube and into the patient's lungs. This tube also supports exhalation. Uh, thank you very much for looking at this prototype and stay safe.